you guys i just wanted to show off my new snake and uh it's one that is uh in my opinion truly awesome one of my favorite species in general i love my ball pythons and i love boas and many other things but when i was a teenager or a young teenager my mother got me a book on boas and a book on pythons and one of the animals in that book that really caught my attention was the Angolan pythons and ever since that day I've wanted one and I have been looking at morph market for probably a year sort of well casually trying to find one that I could afford and one that was you know somewhat reasonably priced well yeah reasonably priced that I could afford and one that was somewhat local and nothing ever came up and I think there was only like 14 of them on morph market for the longest time and now there's even less because I've got this beautiful little girl. And uh, funny enough, to my surprise, uh, Kevin at Nerd had two females. So interestingly, I talked to him probably a year ago uh, when we were on a tour down there at Nerd. And I asked him if he was working with Angolans. And he said he'd gotten rid of all of his Angolans. Which, you know, not, not surprising considering they're downsizing. But he told me he had a friend who I've never met that was working with them. And I don't know where these girls came from, or this girl in particular, but I happened to be scrolling Morph Market and saw two new ones on there listed under Nerd. And I was like, holy cow, that's close by. And they were actually the cheapest ones available. And I emailed them and tried to get a hold of them to get both of them and was told that they were both available Got back to him later the day in that day and then found out they were both on hold for one of Kevin's friends. And I was so disappointed. Come to find out later that day, and by that point it was too late to drive down there, uh, Kevin's friend had come by and taken the one that I specifically wanted and left this gorgeous little girl there. And I got first dibs on her and the very next morning I drove to New Hampshire and picked her up. And she is simply amazing super super sweet super personable i absolutely love her markings and my youngest daughter first name that came out of her mouth was delilah and that's what we ended up naming her so the plan for this girl is to raise her up small or raise her up slowly rather and eventually find a nice male and go down the path of trying to breed in golems so they're probably my favorite species of python and I am so stoked to finally have the chance to work with one. And she is just so sweet. She's got that little ball python head with just different scaling. And all of her scales are beaded. It's such an interesting feeling compared to ball pythons. And how she moves is a lot different than a ball python too. She reminds me a little bit of an arboreal, like carpet python, but not quite. Um, she's just, I mean, look at that. That's just super cool. But anyway, figured I'd update you guys on our newest snake. And uh, hopefully we'll be giving some more updates as she grows. She's already eaten twice for us. And uh, she's doing well. We've had her a little over, eh, like a week and a half or so. She ate the first day which eh, sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't, but she ate the first day and then she just ate, I think three days ago as well. And you wouldn't even know it at this point. She's completely digested it. But anyway, super awesome animal, super s just amazing species. And uh, one of my favorites. And I look forward to sharing some more stuff about her and yeah. Anyway, hope you guys like this. Hope you guys are enjoying your animals and uh, Hope you guys have a good day. All right. Bye, guys.